Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I had an experience today at church, and I want to read this verse to you. Because one thing I noticed, there's nothing more painful for a parent than to see the uh, siblings fighting amongst each other. So I want to read this to you. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. Now you know there are a whole lot of administrations, Pat's two cents, a whole lot of administrations out there. You got Baptists, you got Catholics, you got Episcopalian, you got Methodists, you got uh, Church of God, Church of God and Christ, Church of Christ, I mean the Seventh Day Adventist, the list goes on. But that's what you call, that's what you call, there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And who was the Lord? Jesus Christ. Listen. Verse 6. And there are diversities of operations. They run differently, don't they? Pat's two cents again. They run differently. They don't run the same way. They don't stress the same goals. They have different emphasis, right? Okay, let me read that again. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh in all. Or shall I, let me repeat that, I want to read it correctly. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. I want you to hear this. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. Mm. You get a, uh, an underlying vein going on here? Yeah, common denominator. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. That means different kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. All right. Now, for as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. Ooh, Pat's two cents. Did you hear that? Mm. Yeah, we got to repeat that. Yeah. For all of you who think your denomination is the bottom line, that you got the last word on the word. Hmm. And all the members of that body, excuse me, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or or Gentiles. See, this uh, uh, catch two cents. I got, I got to break this down. Because a lot of us think that if they're Baptist and I am Church of Christ, well, they're going to be lost in hell. But we're the chosen ones. Or if the Seventh-day Adventists look at the Church of Christ and say, oh, you worship on Sunday, you're going to hell. Nah, 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 nah. But we are the chosen few on the street and the narrow. And y'all ain't living no better than they are. But you think because you got a day, you got the claim to fame. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to read this one more time. For as the body is one 
and has many members and all the members of that body of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body whether we be Jews now Pat Love's two cents is going to embellish on this. Just so you really get the point. Whether we be Jews, Gentiles, Catholics, a Pentecostals, Charismatics, Church of God, Church of God in Christ, Church of Christ, Methodist, Lutheran, and the beat goes on. Uh-huh. So while you're sitting up on your high horse, Whoa, Nellie, and read the word. All of us have been leveled out in the playing field. None of y'all and none of us, whoever we be, are better than the other. We're just different. Different expressions of the body of Christ. Get that in your head. Okay. I'll explain why I'm so heated on this in a minute. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Okay. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Come on now, think. Pat's two cents. If the whole body were an eye, well, where was I hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now has God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet one body. Do you get this? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more these members of the body would seem to be more feeble or necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these bestow more. We bestow more abundant honor. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need. But God has tempered the body together. 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 God has tempered the body. Together. Mm. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. How dare you sit there and say, I can't go to their wedding because they worship on Sunday. Or I can't go to their prayer meeting because those are those weird folks that worship on Saturday. Or, well, we can't go to that service and have a joint service because we don't believe in instruments. So we only hang with Church of Christ. We don't mingle with the tainted ones. Schisms! 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 Pride! 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 Get up off that doggone high horse and repent. (sighs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm tongue lashing today. I'll tell you why in a minute. And whether one member suffer, verse 26, all the members suffer with it. 
or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, we are the body of Christ and members in particular. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop here right now because I'm really dealing with the broad sense of the body of Christ, not the individual gifts. What you don't realize is we strain at a net and swallow a camel because we argue over the most minuscule, unimportant stuff while we're tripping over our feet and making a mess over the big issues, the stuff that really counts to God. We practically count that dung. It's backwards. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what happened. Then you'll understand why Mama seat is so hot. Mm -hmm. My father used to say, hot up under the collar. Now, I love the body of Christ. I have met with charismatics. I have visited with Pentecostal. I have visited with old-fashioned Baptist churches. I have visited with Catholic churches. I have visited with Foursquare, Church of God, Church of God in Christ, Independent, and I was christened an Episcopalian. Okay, so you know there's a big mix going on. And right now, I attend a an independent Pentecostal church, or charismatic, whichever, while on another day attending a seven-day Adventist church. See, to me, the body is the body. It ain't about if you don't agree with me on this, that, 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 and that. I basically write you off the list. I don't have that right. I can't put you in the body. I can't kick you out the body. I can't put you in hell. I can't kick you out of hell. Only God. All we can do is love one another unconditionally. And quit trying to be Holy Ghost Junior and the, and, and, and the, uh, the Holy Ghost Police Squad. Stop it. Enjoy the love we're supposed to bask in. Enjoy the unity. We are supposed to work together. We're supposed to worship together. There are too many schisms in the body. And I don't mean to be disrespectful. I don't mean to be offensive. But guess what, y'all? As much as y'all don't want to deal with it, denominationalism has nothing to do with God. It's all about man's opinion. This is what we believe. No, that's what they believe. No, we don't believe that. We believe this. And it's dogma, 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 dogma. And we dog each other out behind our silly dogma. Okay. This morning I was at church. And a very old man got up. And he shared. Not once did he open the Bible. I'm waiting for the message. Not once did he open the Bible. But he starts sharing his opinions. And he was highly offended. Seventh-day Adventist man. Highly offended by the fact that uh, their organization would invite uh, uh, um, a Sunday worshiping minister. I think his name is Al Sharp. I may not pronounce it correctly. Al Sharpton or whatever. Okay, so here we are. They, they, they've invited this man to speak. While he's telling the story, he's telling it with the utmost disdain. And my heart is breaking because I'm thinking, what are you doing? If Al Sharpton is part of the body, if he's called by God, who are you to disqualify him? I, I couldn't believe my ears. I couldn't believe my eyes. You should have seen his face. The, the anger, the disgust, the hatred. The, oh, I, I was like, wow. So he sits there and he says, he says this. Uh, what can he tell us about whatever it was? Now, listen, for those of you who agree with him, God spoke through an ass, a jackass, a donkey, to turn somebody's head right. You hear me? Now, if a donkey can be used by God, 
then guess what? Anyone can be. And if God chooses to position a person to be used, you don't know the person, you've never eaten breakfast with them, you don't know their background, all you know is they're black and they're Sunday worshiper. That's all you know. And you have drawn this conclusion that they are not worthy to speak among the eloquent ones, the elitist of the New Testament body of Christ, which happens to be Seventh-day Adventist. I was begging God to help me keep my mouth shut. I wanted to blurt out and interrupt his word. That's how much it was eating at me. It wasn't that I was offended by what he said. I was hurt. It grieved my spirit. Because all I kept hearing was schism, 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 schism. Body parts, body parts, mayhem. Chop it all up and throw it away. We only keep the parts we like. The rest of those parts don't count. I don't care how much they claim to be part of the body of Christ. You don't have that right. Okay, that's what got me riled up. So I'm going to pull it all together. He made the mistake of opening it up for uh, an open forum question and answer period. And yes, Mama Sita opened her mouth wide. Well, when I got through saying what I had to say, which was, in essence, very briefly, this whole thing, Christianity, faith, the walk with God, the body of Christ, this whole thing is to be founded on love. Not judgment, not schisms, not derailing and defaming and slant. No, mutual respect and love Peace, unity, agree to disagree. Don't be agree disagreeable. Agree to disagree peacefully in love. There are people at that church that don't believe in women preachers. I know it. They know I know it. We still hug and sit and talk and laugh and joke and enjoy because that's their opinion and they have that right. And I also have the right to do what God told me to do, which is preach. So, we may not agree, but you do your thing, I do my thing. And when we get together, we commune in love and unity. All differences laid aside. That's the way maturity should be. You don't sit there, wipe some, I mean, talk them down and, and ridicule them in public in front of the other saints because all those saints are according to your faith and your administration and your operation, your mode of operation, but because that one is not. Oh, talk to the hand. But God ain't telling them to talk to the hand, you are. Unless you're here to replace the Holy Spirit, keep your opinions about other people to yourself. Keep your dogma to yourself. That's between you and God. When you do stuff like that, you are creating more schisms and rips and tears and division. It's very divisive. And it does much damage to the whole body of Christ. And the body of Christ is not seven-day Adventist. The body of Christ is not Baptist. It's not Church of God. The body of Christ is every member in these churches that belong to the body of Christ. Denomination, notwithstanding, ain't got nothing to do with it. Christ. That's the bottom line. You got Christ, you got it. He'll walk you and, and, and by his Holy Spirit, he will lead you into all truth. And there are some truths he won't deal with because it may not be pertinent to what his purpose is for your life. Boy, oh boy. I'm 
done. Because I think I've been talking probably a half an hour. And I say this in love, you guys. And I told the man I was saying it in love and respect. There should be no schisms. We should love one another. And we should stop this judgment stuff. Stop being the the big eyes looking at the little yous that don't go you know you don't do it my way that means you're not going you're not going the highway to God you're going the broad and narrow straight to hell stop judging lest ye be judged <laughs>